Hey guys, in this video we'll continue with the lip syncing. We're going to import the uh, audio file and then uh, place these mouth shapes right onto the character. So, I'm going to take this panel and divide it into two, move it up, divide it into two, and then uh, choose video sequencer, the video sequencer from the drop down here. Uh, in this video sequencer, I can import sound. I'm going to move it up just a bit and um, go to add sound. I'm going to grab my sound and put it in there. And I need to edit it because I don't, I don't need the whole thing. I just need a little piece of it. Uh, I am going to do... Um, I can middle mouse click and drag or uh, control middle mouse click to scale so that I can see all my clip. There it is. I'm going to hit N to get the numerics, um, to get the options panel. And I'm going to turn on right here, I'm going to turn on display waveform so that I can see this thing. I need to determine, I need to determine um, what frame it is so that I can increase the timeline. So right now we'll increase it to 447. Uh, and then uh, I need to zoom into it. By clicking the scroll bar, I can zoom in and I can move it. All right, I believe it was this, this from here. Hello and welcome. And so I'm gonna go to where that beep starts and click that little, uh, that little arrow right there to select the razor blade and hit right there to cut the sound clip and then I'm going to select right where that beep ends and cut it right there I'm gonna zoom in on it right about here and cut it now um, hit the select one click on that delete and then also click on this one and delete. So basically all I did was cut out the stuff that I didn't need. I'm going to push it all the way to the front. I'm gonna zoom out. And push it all the way to the front push this all the way to the front to frame one and figure out how, m how many frames I need I only need about 40 frames 42 frames so I'm gonna uh, readjust the end uh, of my timeline zoom in on the whole thing and welcome so now that we've got our our audio in here I'm gonna move it I'm gonna move it over a little bit so that it starts on the sixth frame uh, just because I want a little pause uh, at the beginning so that we can see the 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 mouth and then get ready um, I don't I just don't want the uh, the guy talking at the very first frame so let's go ahead and get started Um, I'm going to turn back, I'm going to turn back on under playback, audio sc scrubbing, make sure that AV sync is turned on here, selected AV sync and audio scrubbing. And then, um, let's determine <laughs> at the beginning from here to here, we need a, a, his mouth just closed. So let's get rid of this, um, smile. It's in the character object. 
we need to go to edit edit mode so that we can select selection tool select this mouth under character see we still we still haven't selected so we have to go to object mode go to character make sure that you have the character stroke and its um, layers so that we can select edit mode select the uh, the mouth hit L for linked and then delete strokes so now now that the mouth is gone from the character layer let's go back to the mouth object we have to go to object mode go to mouth object and now we're working with the mouth object so we're, we are at uh, the mouth shapes layer uh, from here to here from he should have his mouth closed so I'm gonna go to edit mode and I'm gonna select the mouth that's closed copy it and paste it and then move it into position so there we have a smile and then he starts talking uh, so it'll be this mouth shape I'm gonna select it hit L to select linked copy and on frame 7 I'm gonna paste it command V and then move it into place I am going to turn on um, onion skinning so that I could see my other mouth right there and then so now it go from here to here so so hello l right at 11 I have to go back to 1 grab the L click L paste paste and then move it into place so it'll be L O on 15 copy paste paste And, and so right on 20 um, I could do this select it hit L copy go back to 20 paste And then move it and and I'm gonna get this one at 25 this one Copy, paste, and woo, woo, and woo at twenty six. Copy. Well, twenty 
28. Eh. Where? Well? L on thirty. So let's see what it looks like. I'm going to turn off uh, the onion skinning here and then just hit play. Hello and welcome. Hello and welcome. Hello and welcome. Hello and welcome. All we have to do now is hide uh, what's on frame one. All of these, uh, I'm going to hit save and go to edit mode. Select all these. Hit L to select all of them. Uh, zoom out. And I'm, I'm just going to move them out of the way um, back here. I'll have them, but they're just out of the way. Um, let's look at the animation one more time. Hit play. Hello and welcome. Hello and welcome. Hello and welcome. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Uh, we didn't use any uh, modifiers. Uh, and we also didn't draw the mouse shapes uh, every single frame. We drew them once and we just copied and pasted into the individual frames that we needed. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you know of a way to make this easier. Or if you know of a uh, modifier that would make this uh, a lot easier or faster. Um, or let me know in the comments how you like the video. Uh, thank you. I'll see you on the next one.